Have you run away from a saber-toothed tiger recently? Maybe you haven't, but the stress response you feel when you are late to work or the growl your stomach makes when you haven't had anything but an energy bar and coffee in the morning is the same stress response we had when we were cavemen. That stress response is called fight or flight. Grunk is a real-life caveman. He goes to work hunting saber-tooths and rabbits for his family. Unfortunately, the saber-tooth chases Grunk on occasion, and his physical and emotional stress levels go way up. When this happens, Grunk's body's intelligence kicks in to help him escape. His heart rate goes way up, his blood pressure spikes, more adrenaline is produced, and the body moves the blood away from the digestive tract and into the muscles, as digesting food isn't a priority at that moment. Grunk eventually does escape and rests at home, and after 15 to 20 minutes, his body resets and begins to operate normally again. Now, your body doesn't know the difference between running from a saber-toothed tiger or rushing your kids to school. Your body's stress response is triggered in both situations, so your blood pressure, heart rate, and food digestion is the same as Grunk's when he's running away from a tiger. These types of situations could happen every day in our culture. The difference between you and the caveman is the caveman was able to relax in his cave soon after he finished stressing out. So for the whole day, the caveman would stress the duration of a hunt, which would last maybe an hour. You, on the other hand, have to deal with the stress of racing your kids to school, traffic, work, relationships, and everything else that life constantly throws at you. Plus, add in the constant chemical stress that comes from the unhealthy foods we eat, and it's like you are running from the saber tooth all day long. The solution is to build your own cave. You have to build your own cave every day, and it means finding some peace in the pileup of traffic while driving to work. It means going to bed on time instead of staying up late binging on your favorite TV shows. It means taking some time to go outside and do some relaxing work instead of locking yourself up in your office. Otherwise, this chronic stress will open you up to most diseases because your immune system will tank and a lack of nutrients that your body needs due to not being able to digest your food properly. Add to that the fact that your adrenals, which are the glands that sit atop your kidney and decide where your hormones go, are so active with the abundance of stress you experience and put into your body, you will develop adrenal fatigue. Put all this together, and now you know why stress is the start of all disease processes. How can we make our fight or flight more effective? How can we turn it off when we don't need it and bring it up when it's necessary? Ask yourself what you are putting in your body for energy. Your body is probably asking your brain for those artificial stimulants you gave it, like coffee, processed sugars, or genetically modified foods, because it's confused on why the adrenals aren't filling up like they used to. You have sucked your adrenals dry of hormones that didn't need to be active in the first place. That's huge because we are taking a finite source and sucking it dry. What people may not know is that a lot of things trigger the fight or flight response. Emotional stresses, eating unhealthy foods, overreacting to life's daily challenges, going through tough emotional times, all trigger fight or flight. However, that leaves a lot of areas where we can improve it. So if this video has successfully stressed you out with all the info it's loaded you up with, you should take a minute to relax. At least you don't have a tiger running after you. If you always put limit on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. And you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Bruce Lee